Hello everybody, Skiplock Gamer here today playing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This game, if you know me, is my most favorite game of all time. I'm using the Dolphin Emulator. Um, let's just do our normal name. Okay. I hope it doesn't lag too much. Yeah, look at all those things load in. <laughs> it's because they have the widescreen hack on, so everything that loads in and out of view, just, it's really weird. Hey, guess where we are? We're on the floor. So, do you remember what day it is today? No, nigga. <laughs> You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Hits him with the fucking telescope. <laughs> Big brother, it's your birthday. Aw, oh, sick. I'm like turning 11. That's right, Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. She should probably get your fucking ass down there. Yeah, see, she should probably get your fucking ass down there, Link. Jesus Christ. It doesn't look that bad in gameplay. And, uh, my rig seems to be holding up to the abuse. I'm using it at 1080p. <coughs> so we get a nice HD. Sorry if my voice cracks my own. I'm a little sick. The thing is, with this, it can only run at 30 frames per second because it was originally released on the GameCube. And the GameCube didn't say, yo, watch these crisp frames and like pump out 60 frames per second of delicious Wind Waker glory. And nor will my PC do that because the console would not let it do that. Alright, that, now that that's out of the way, let's go get our fucking clothes. Yo, Grandma might be upstairs. These aren't stairs, this is a ladder. She might be- How did she get up here? Grandma, how? Grandma, gr Grandma, your legs wouldn't be able to reach. Skippy! Try these on, even though you hate it. Look at this shit. Time certainly flies, I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. I'm like, 11, Grandma. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look down. Be proud, child. Bullshit, I have to wear them for one day? I spent a month in these clothes. This series is gonna be like 50 parts. I do own the game, but it's not functioning, but I own the copy, and that's all that matters when you're emulating, is if I do not condone piracy. If you do not own a game, do not download it, and do not play it, that is considered stealing. But for me, I own this game, so this is all right. But my GameCube doesn't work, and my copy is... Yeah, my GameCube's completely trashed. Make our way back to the lookout to go meet Errol. Can you close your eyes and hold out your hands just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Bullshit for one day. You get f I'm not spoiling anything! You got the telescope. I never closed my eyes or held up my hands, but whatever. That. Are you looking at the red post box? I am looking at the red post box. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Wow! Yeah, I see, I nailed it. <gasps> oh shit! Skippy, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something to you can use to protect. I cannot read. And uh, oh, shut the fuck up, old man. I know how to play the game. Yeah, I didn't read a single thing you said, but I agree to everything you said. Just, just do it. Just do it now. Da -da -da -da. And yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the sword. Thank you. We need to go save that girl, and she's in the woods. I mean, the game looks fine. This this game looks fine, but when I try to emulate Twilight Princess, there's a bunch of like graphical issues. Like the water freaks out. The um, the map has this weird lining around it. It's just a bunch of weird shit. I mean, I gotta figure all that out before I do a playthrough of that. So that needs to happen. <gasps> there she is. <clears throat> Let's just go. <laughs> Oh no, an enemy. 
Oh shit, it's from a fucking spin attack. Oh, did I get him? Okay, I did. Nice. Nothing but spin attack. Spin attack only run. Do it. Oh no, they're dropping from the roof. From the- that's not a ceiling. This isn't a ceiling. We're in the middle of a forest. They're dropping from the sky. Spin attack only run. <laughs> Please don't struggle. You're gonna break the branch. Oh, flag me for spoilers. Ouch! That hurt. Alright, Link, what do you got going on here? That bear dropped me on the top of a mountain? That was weird. That bird. I'm, I kind of want to give her like a super deep voice, but I'm not sure about it yet. It's a bird. Wait, that seagull just turned to fucking Hemlock King. Helmorock. Helmorock King, not Helmorock. Look at them fly so fast. Oh yeah, just just jump off the bridge, thing. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? Actually, it was kind of your fault she fell in because... No! No! It is your fault! You do have an issue with this! If your ass would have gotten dropped in that feckin' forest, my sister would have been like, you gotta save her, and then come to check on us later. It is your fault. Not to mention the Helmorak King was after you first. That's your problem. And, um, I'm trying to fix your problem. And just what do you mean by that? Yo, Ace. Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. It's the worst black accent ever. Now, as my work and details, and what the fuck am I trying to say? As my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that a young girl's <laughs> heard word? Oh, this guy is full of sass. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Why did I make it gay? Because gay people are sassy? Is this true? Oh! And while I'm at it, dude, this guy, this guy is fucking savage. I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Skippy's sister has made its foul nest up north in the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. I can't read that was not in the script. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield, you know? Anything to protect yourself with anything. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Too late. Alright, let's- Aw, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Look at these trees. Look at these trees right here. These trees. They're just freaking the fuck out. How many trees are there? There's 11. You wouldn't know. Hi, Grandma. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god, wait, what? <laughs> uh, take it with you. Grandma's smile is of golden honeysuckle. I don't know where I was going with that. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you want? There's actually a little something I want to grab here, and then I'll probably end the episode there and continue on our way to the Forsaken Fortress. Nice. You got an orange rupee. Just one of these is worth 100 rupees. Is the green wallet normally supposed to be able to hold a hundred rupees? Don't get me wrong, but I remember it being specifically 99. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Skip Lock Gamer playing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, my favorite game of all time. This will continue. This will probably be like one of my main series on my channel, along with, Le with not Legend of Zelda Call of Duty Black Ops, just Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And Paladins. I haven't done Paladins in like a week, but I'll probably be doing that soon enough. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye